are here at Grace Point Church in Valparaiso, Indiana. And in this video, I want to walk you through the Altitude LED system we installed here. And this is a unique setup where we have these cool side ribbon screens. So we're also going to show you how it's configured in ProPresenter to have this three screen setup and then how to properly format lyrics and backgrounds and any other content for those side ribbons. So let's dive in. At the center of this setup on stage is the center screen, which is about 16 feet wide by nine feet tall. So it has your basic 16 by nine aspect ratio makes it very easy to throw content up there. Justin, who's the production director at the church, he's also a videographer, so it's really easy for him to be creating videos for the church. And then obviously they have their motion backgrounds for worship, but they can also play announcement videos, sermon videos. I saw a really cool baptism video when I was here this Sunday, and it was super powerful. This beautiful screen, not only does it function as a set design piece for the church, but it's also kind of a cinematic uh, tool to be able to display the amazing videos they're able to capture for what's going on here in the community. The pixel pitch on this screen is 2.6 millimeters because it's really not that far away from the screen to that front row. This is not a huge stage, so it's really important to have that pixel pitch at a level where it's going to have high enough resolution, it's gonna look great even if you're standing. I would say the distance is maybe 20-ish feet away from the front row to that wall. But we can always walk you through what the right pixel pitch is gonna be for your church. Let's talk about the side ribbons. So this screen here is about two feet tall by eight feet wide, and these consist of the altitude cloud panels. So these are the ultra thin LED panels that are meant for permanent installs like this, where they're just gonna be mounted on the wall and you don't need to take them anywhere. And uh, you can configure them, of course, into all different uh, shapes and sizes. And these side ribbons are also 2.6 millimeter pixel pitch, just like the center screen. Now we are behind the center screen. And as you can see here, we have the apex panels by altitude and they are flown. So when you go through the process of getting a custom LED system with altitude, we can walk you through the various installations options. One of those is to do the hybrid kit installation where our team can support you through the process of doing a flown LED panel system like this or ground stack or wall mount. So here at this church, they have the flown center screen and then, then they have the wall mount side ribbons. So we'll walk you through all of the, the aspects of making sure everything's going to be structurally sound and safe especially when you're doing a flown system like this. So up on the ceiling, there's a few joists and there's Unistrut that's basically making up the structure of this flown system to suspend the LED wall. And then at the top of the, the panel structure here, that's where you have the primary support bar that's then tied into the Unistrut and that's what's suspending it here. So what's great is it's really not taking up a lot of space when it comes to uh, the stage design here. There's plenty of backstage space back here. And I, I really like this now seeing a flown system like this compared to the ground support system that we use at my church, it really does help save on space space if you need it. And as always, you've got the uh, power data boxes here. You've got power in and out, daisy chaining the panels together, and you've got the data in and out as well. So plugging it all in once it's all hung, that's, that's kind of the easy fun part in my opinion. And then we've got the Novastar processor that's back at front of house that's then sending the data lines to the wall to drive the graphics for this uh, LED system. Here at Grace Point, Justin and the team went through the hybrid installation process. So I want to hand it over to him real quick to explain what that was like. So you can hear from one of our clients uh, how long it took for them to do it and uh, just what the whole process entailed. So Sunday afternoon after church, we stayed over. We had a couple volunteers help us set this all up. Um, we had a previous projector set up, so we tore down the screens, um, cleaned the stage, got everything prepped for Monday. Um, in the meantime, we did plan to paint our stage to make the stage feel wider. So when we pulled down the screens, we did some um, mud patching and paint prep um, and just got everything ready to go on Monday. And then on Monday, we came in, we started hanging up the uh, Unistrut to support the wall itself and started planning for um, hanging up the outside walls. So when we hung those up, we used a laser level, uh, marked everything so everything was dead even, made sure we had everything where we wanted it to, and uh, we just started hanging stuff up. <laughs> So the Altitude team provided us with a whole schematic, a uh, 
a whole sheet that just kind of helped prepare us to know where mounts needed to be, how things needed to be supported and hung, and uh, just overall made the experience really easy. And um, we had this thing up and going within three days. We have rehearsal on Wednesday nights. We tore down on Sunday after church. Monday was hit the ground running. Tuesday was hit the ground running. And Wednesday by probably lunch, we were focusing on nailing down the screen, getting media up on it and making sure it was ready for rehearsal. The LED wall install was a lot easier than anticipated. Um, we really, really went into this thinking it was it was the week of Thanksgiving, to be honest. And we were like, oh boy, we're missing Thanksgiving. We're missing dinner. We're missing something. And by Wednesday afternoon, we have rehearsal and we were up and running. We had media in, we had our time code all set, everything was functioning and we did a full rehearsal and uh, we're still able to make our Thanksgiving dinners. And uh, without the Altitude team, that would have would not have been possible. So something to keep in mind when you are setting up a creative screen like this is that scale all happens. Like things have to be of different scale to make it look proper for your congregation or for your people that are sitting here watching. So as I had shown um, with worship, I'm putting worship in a different spot and a different size on the outside screen. So same thing happens in your message. So for instance, when I fire our bumper video that we're showing this weekend, it only shows on the center screen. Now, when I go to a logo, you'll see it fires on both sides. So technically on the ribbon side is a prop and technically on the center is a PNG, but all that scaling, it's not difficult. It just really has to be thought out. Um, I'll kind of walk you guys through on how I'm doing that. We use time code, so this is a timeline for time code. They fire exactly on time every time along with our uh, multi-tracks tracks. So I'm gonna hit play to show. Obviously time code is not connected. So if we hit play, I have a clear media here and then I have a macro telling the screens what to show. So background will fire. All three screens are being shown. We have the center screen putting it um, on that upper third quadrant and then the ribbons are showing right in the center. Um, so I can walk you through a little bit on how that works. Go to themes, here's the outside. So if you click size, you can actually see any of your screen layout. So as you can see, the ribbons are 1920 by 384. And I have it just taking that same exact text and popping it right into the center. It did take some time to make all the fonts like the proper sizing so it didn't have to scale. We do not use scaling on our worship. Um, when things get too long or too big, when it scales, I think it's a distraction and causes a distraction when things are moving and changing sizes. So um, I was very picky on that and that's why you'll see a weird decimal number to get everything lined up. But that is worship. Now I can get a little dorkier with you guys on the message. So I'm just gonna fire, right now we're doing Ever Wonder Why. Um, when I fire this here, I have an actual motion background. It's super subtle in this one. There's like a mesh that I have overlaid on a video. Um, you can kind of see in here. This is going here. This is showing the outside screens. We are scaling on the outside screens. I'll get through that. And then I do have lower thirds working as well. So I'm gonna go into the theme editor here. On these lower thirds, I have a shape with a fill, which is our background look. Um, and then we are using, again, a scaling. You can see it scales down. I have a background behind there and that visibility is saying, only be visible if this is being shown, that Romans 10, nine. So we always start with a template and my pastor, whoever is speaking, will make sure that that text is input. If he needs it, if he doesn't, that will disappear. Keeps lower thirds looking super clean for the people that are viewing online. For our logo, we are doing something a little bit different. Our center screen and our ribbons. So I have, when I go into our looks here, and right now we are seeing my sermon logo, which is allowing props on that outside LED ribbon, but not on the LED wall. And so this is receiving the media, which is that looping background with that subtle mesh background on it. And you can see the LED wall itself is receiving the slide and the media. So you can see that there is a PNG located over top of this motion background. So this is actually just a PNG um, that works on the center screen. And then I have props going on on the ribbons here. So when I fire this, you'll see that that, uh, that ribbon is actually showing a different scale of the same logo, but we still get the motion background behind it to make sure everything feels uniform across all three screens. Thanks so much, Justin and the team here at Grace Point. As you can see, it's incredibly powerful when you combine applications like ProPresenter with Altitude LED systems. And that's another reason to take the time to learn a powerful tool like ProPresenter to understand how the themes, the looks, the props, the screens, how all of these things work together. And I'd also recommend to not forget a video card output for your ProPresenter machine. I 
like using the Blackmagic Decklink line of uh, devices to be able to output all of the various screens that Justin just walked you through here on this computer. So, so much capability with this type of system. Let us know your questions and thoughts down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you're ready to get started with your church's LED project, reach out to us at altitudeled.com and get started today. We'll see you next time.